here, Riri. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good big stretch. Sit. Love you, Caddy Bree. You can't come with us. Stay. Alright, come on. Come on. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Walk with Regis. Today's weather will be low 60s, 97% chance of rain. Oh, and today is October 16th. So in the news of yesterday, a former track coach has been indicted for sending sexually explicit text messages to teenagers. One message he sent, he thought was to a teen, it was to a cop. And unfortunately, the one story I reported to you has ended in tragedy as the body of the 15-year-old boy who fell into the Niagara River has been found. He unfortunately is deceased. I just want to say my condolences to the family. I know it's got to be heartbreaking that he went on a fishing trip with his father and he slipped in the water and was swept away by the currents and just, just like that, gone. And he was only 15. You know, there's this show called Dead Like Me. And they only had two seasons. But pretty much this whole scenario with the river and the 15 year old boy kind of fits in with that show. So then sometimes hearing things like that makes me wonder I don't know. Maybe the show has some basis in like truth fact. Maybe. Yesterday at work was alright. I didn't make any mistakes yesterday, and it seemed to go by pretty quickly, though at the time it wasn't. I think I finally got the hang of that job, though sometimes I dream about getting a better cashier job. Sometimes I got them cards that just, I take one look at and just know I'm going to have a world of issues and pain trying to move everything, sort everything, scan everything, put everything back, and hope I got everything. And then customers are always interrupting, trying to hand you stuff that they want you to scan, or even if it's out of order, or just boss you around saying, this is how I want it, ring this up first, so it's as confusing as possible, so you get lost, and I might get something for free. I'm pretty sure that's all it is. But what they don't realize is that's what our little red marker is for. And I have been using a red marker more and more often and it's not as problematic as I used to think it was. Sometimes it's fun. It's what I call revenge marking. Because now when you go to touch your items you've got red marker all over it and if I red marker the right stuff you might get that red marker transferred to your hands for all your troubles thank you very much I haven't seen my friend Steven in a while he just opened up his second location for Ike and BG soul food restaurant 
so proud of him. See? He can do anything if you put your mind to it. I've always believed that. Today's kind of a short day. We close at four today, I think. Because I think I'm scheduled to five. Even though I get to leave at four, I'm gonna go get a vaccine. So, I have to leave at four so I can go make my vaccine appointment at 5.30. I'm excited about it. And that's the end of this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, you can hit the dislike button. It don't bother me any. Share if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. We will see you guys tomorrow. Ain't that cute? Bye.